Today, I'm going to be teaching you the fastest way to get rich in Driving Empire for 2024. It's different to the one that I made earlier, so make sure you do watch to the end of this one to find out what the best grinding method is. And I'm going to be leaving you some tips and tricks you can use to get rich in Driving Empire. Also, Winter Collection group merch is going off very soon, so uh, link in the description to the group. Just go cop that. Once it's gone, it's gone. But yes, I'd like to subscribe when you're in close to close to 50k, and I don't want to take up too much of your time, so um, that's all I have to say. What is the best grinding method for driving empire i'm going to be going through that today if you're looking to get rich in driving empire as you can see i've got oh half a billion God. dollars uh a bit of that is from okay a fair few bit of that is from the devs but oh, hello hello my friend how are you he's even he's, he's got that nickelodeon joint oh yes he's very happy i'm an og Cheers. so a lot of that is from the devs however quite a lot of it i have grinded on my own as you can see if i click tab i've got forty-three thousand miles so i guess you could say i'm basically a veteran at this game stop the cap <laughs> and I'm gonna be showing how do I get your merch you got to go into the group in the description So I'm gonna be going through some tips and tricks and the best grinding method you guys can use to get rich in this game If you want to get to the top of that leaderboard then make sure you stick to them because I'm going to be sharing with you uh, Oh my okay. <laughs> Hello, my friend <laughs> you are in the video What the hell is that thing? <laughs> It's like a pot noodle. So kind of like I was saying before, if you want to be able to unlock all of these cars, I did make a video saying I bought every car, but they've added a bunch of new ones, then do stick to the end. And by the way, my first or second video was a how to get rich video in Driving Empire. That I'm pretty sure is outdated. There's a new best grinding method, which I'm going to go through. So I'm going to put it out there. The best grinding method for driving empire oh, let me back in my car okay it's not let me in my car it's actually not going up and down on highway that's actually now one of the worst grinding methods one of the best grinding methods is actually doing where is it where is it where is it this race the sophia bay race now i'll be honest with you i've not done this race in my life i didn't even know this existed but i did a bit of testing and i found out that i was getting a lot of money from doing this sophia bay race because it's quite short but at the same time it does also give quite a bit of money and i need someone to race with um mr nickelodeon can you get a car mate <laughs> please come to sophia Sophia Bay. Six and a half. I need someone to race with because doing a time trial doesn't give me any money. How's this guy? Like, look, this guy's got 36 seconds in the race. I don't know how he's done it. We got someone and he's in a McLaren 12C. Oh, this is perfect. I feel I feel bad for this guy. He's kind of like a lab rat. Oh my god, he is, he is literally a lab rat. <laughs> I didn't even see his avatar. He's just a, he's a hamster or a, ha or a rat or a squirrel. I don't know. Get your st Oh, I'm, fa I'm facing the wrong way. You what? Oh, we got three people here. Okay, okay. Okay, and we got a GT2 RS. I think this should be a pretty easy win. So this race is good if you have a very high accelerating car because there's a lot of straights on this race. There are quite a few sharp turns, so do keep that in mind. There's just a floating sign there. Didn't break. Didn't break. I just said I haven't done this race in my life. I'm basically a veteran at this game. I've done this race like once or twice when I was testing like which race was giving me the most money. Oh, yeah, 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 I hate this car. Break, break. I mean, that works as well. I'm the second brokest person in the server. Well, if you're watching this video, my friend, hopefully that will change. And it will change. Okay, I mean, so in one minute and six seconds, it's actually my personal best, by the way. I just want to point that out. There, there's that squirrel again. In one minute, six seconds, I got 28,000 with a 2,800 bonus. That's pretty darn good. And keep in mind, you are also getting money from racing as well, like actually just driving in the race. So this is going to be your best grinding method. If you just get a bunch of... That helicopter is making like on sounds, but it's not on. I'm going to do this race one more time, see what time I can get. I got one minute and six, but... I crashed like 10 times. <laughs> this guy's plate says fast. <laughs> Unlucky, mate. Oh, I nearly hit that sign there. I nearly... What the... <laughs> oh, I just saved it there. You sent me a message first, yeah? I live in Smavit, Birmingham, if you want the... Whenever I turn at high speed, I need to let go of the accelerator so I don't go flying. Well, Okay, do not hit that... Christ, I just went 
plonk into the wall. Okay, this time isn't much better, I won't lie. But I'm pretty sure if you're a good racer, you can probably get a better time. So in a minute, I made 30 grams. That is really good. That's amazing compared to all the other races. And compared to just going up and down the highway. In my last How to Get Rich video, I said that doing highway grinding was the best. But like I said earlier, that's now actually the worst one. So if I do the mathematics real quick. 28,000 in 1 minute 10 because we're counting in like starting the race, etc. So 1 minute 10. Two. Times up by 28,000. So in an hour, you will make $1.4 million. $1.4 million if you're doing this race in an hour. But $1.44 million in an hour is amazing, realistically. Now, I'm going to be going through some tips and tricks you guys can use. Bro, I got a full carbon package. Yeah, just, just going to like peek through here. It's not black. It's red carbon fiber. Leave in the comments if you noticed that before I actually told you that. So now I'm going to go and do some tips and tricks you guys can use in order to make yourselves a bit wealthier in this game. As we all know, we have these joints. Play time rewards. So you play for a certain amount of time and you get a certain amount of money. The maximum you can get is if you play for 30 minutes, you get 50 grand. And this all stacks up. So I'm just going to claim everything I have already. Look at that. I just made, what, 30, 40, 50 grand? And then I'm about to make 100 grand in four minutes another thing you can do in order to make money is these challenges now i don't really get involved with these challenges i don't think they're a good grinding method but if you can do them like passively like if you want to complete four exhibition rush hour races you can grind the rush hour race complete a drawbridge sprint in under one minute 30 you can just grind the drawbridge sprint race if you're that focused on getting these things i personally don't grind them but they do give you quite a bit of money if you get 400 Tickets, I think these are. You get what, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110. Somewhere in the region of $150,000 you can get from this. The only thing is, the reason why I don't like it is because you can only get, what, 80 tickets a day? Which is a bit tragic so this is more of like a passive thing if you want to do it do it if you don't really want to bother with it then uh just don't do it but it's a bit of extra cash if you're that committed to becoming rich then i probably complete them another thing you can do is you can actually join another voldex experience so you can join another voldex game and get paid 10 to 30 grand when you return and it refreshes every 24 hours i'd recommend you do this even though it is kind of like illegal but it is a decent way to get cash another thing you can do and this is one that i'd probably recommend you stay away from but it is your choice buying cash now the reason why i don't like buying cash in this game is because the robux for money value is so just shambolic four and a half thousand robux that's what forty five dollars for two million which you can grind in two hours which is literally it's, it's it, that's the light work let's be real but if you're really struggling to grind if you can't really grind for that long and maybe there's like a limited car you want to get maybe buying money isn't such a bad idea or if you're feeling festive you know you can like gift money um jeffington x is my username by the way next thing you can do is you can buy a few game passes now there's a few game passes which i will recommend there are ones which i won't ones i won't recommend buying if you're trying to get rich is bus access is kind of useless car radio is kind of useless free bell is kind of useless security job is also kind of useless if you find people with big bounties maybe it is sort of useful but chances are you're not going to find anyone with a bounty over 10 grand so i'd leave that out that leaves premium boost vip and track cars access those are the ones that are actually going to help you get rich now vip is the most important because you get 50 percent more cash while driving and you also get a free supercar which is i forgot what it's called in the game it's called it's an apollo ie but <laughs> what's it called <laughs> Vision Apollo, i.e. the Vision Fatal, the 2020 Vision Fatal is the VIP car. It's an Apollo, i.e. it is right hand drive and it looks insane. It is also quite fast. As you can see, I'm accelerating down there. But if you have a car that is worse than this car, then um, by all means, you can buy a VIP for the, this supercar. Things like the VIP chat tag and all the other stuff isn't as useful. But the key here is the 50% more cash while driving because that's just going to help you a lot. Premium boost is good because I did tell you that Sophia Bay Race is the best riding method. And having premium boost is statistically it's the best boost. So having premium boost is going to help you get lo lower times, I guess. And it's going to help you get more bonuses. It's gonna help you win against more people track cars access is kind of mm, it's not essential but if you want to be able to unlock some really cool cars so for example if i just, I'm just gonna reset real quick so there's a filter in the dealership for track vehicles if you click this uh there's only three um which makes this game pass kind of useless i actually regret putting this in the um in the i suggest section because you only get three cars from them not only are these cars only decent 
you have to still pay for them. So, like, if I bought the track cars game pass, I'd still have to grind $15 million in order to get the Solus GT. And the bad thing about the track cars game pass is there's nothing, like, in the middle. You have this Aston Martin for 200 grand. Okay, a decent amount. And then the next most expensive vehicle is this. It goes all the way up to 10 million. There's nothing in between. There is nothing in between. Voldex, please add something in between. Ah, I accidentally hit the modification thing. Do not upgrade cheap cars, please. Like, look behind me. This guy has paid, what, 20 grand to change his camera on a Viper ACI. He's put a spoiler on it. But, like, it's a waste of money. <laughs> Especially, like, the spoiler. The spoiler gives no extra, like, help. Or, like, putting body kits on cars gives no extra, extra performance. It's just for looks. So, I wouldn't recommend buying those modifications for any car. I wouldn't recommend buying wraps either. The only modifications I'd recommend you buy if you're looking to get rich is engine modifications, turbo modifications, the performance upgrades but do not buy performance upgrades or any upgrades on cheap cars the reason being the way driving empire works is it's much easier to get from let's just say it's much easier to get from 0 to 10 than to get from 10 to 11 if you get what i mean it's easy to get from the starter bmw car to a bugatti veyron like the one down here i just i did that in an to rich episode but if you want to get like to the bullied to maybe the solus gt or that really expensive rolls royce you can't be modifying the cheap cars because you're gonna put so much money into a cheap car but you're gonna sell it after a couple hours maybe maybe not even an hour so do not buy modifications for cheap cars even the police stuff just none of it if you want to get performance upgrades i'd recommend doing it on a car maybe above say 500,000 or a million dollars because there's really no point to buying modifications on cheap cars oh what the did that guy just teleport <laughs> that pot noodle guy is behind me i don't he's just he's just teleported away i don't know where he's gone so those are all of the tips and tricks that i have for you thank you so much for watching and let me know in the comments if there are any other tips and tricks you would suggest for other people but for now that is about it and uh remember group merch is going on off sale very soon the group link is in the description bye <laughs>